ever have that moment where you collapse into bed thinking, tonight, I will sleep early. I will fix my life. And then suddenly your brain goes, wait, remember that one embarrassing thing from seventh grade? Or worse, you open your phone, scroll for just five minutes, and suddenly the room is glowing with 2.47 a.m. demon time energy. And you lie there thinking, bro, why am I like this? Then you wake up six hours later, eyes burning, soul evaporated, brain running on 3% battery like a dying Nokia. And you tell yourself, okay, tonight, for real, I'm sleeping eight hours. But the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats. And here's the craziest part. Some people wake up fresh with six hours of sleep. Some people sleep nine and still feel like a soggy potato. So what's the truth? Can you actually sleep less and still wake up fresh? Yes, science says you can. But it's not about hours, it's about cycles. Your body isn't a machine. It's a dramatic best friend with science behind it. The truth about sleep cycles. Here's something school never taught you. Your sleep works in 90-minute cycles. Every cycle has light sleep, deep sleep, and arim, the full dream trilogy. You wake up fresh when you wake up at the end of a cycle. You wake up destroyed when you wake up in the middle of one. That's why six hours sometimes feels god tier, and eight hours feels like punishment. Your body doesn't measure hours, it measures rhythm. Think of it like entering a movie theater. If you walk in mid-climax, you're confused. But if you enter between scenes, it feels natural. Same with waking up. Wrong time cursed. Right time functional human again. Why your sleep feels chaotic. Most people don't sleep. They survive the night, scrolling, regretting scrolling, trying to sleep, overthinking life, remembering every mistake, checking the time, panicking, finally passing out, waking up in the middle of a cycle, feeling like microwaved leftovers. But your body is programmable. There's a full biological system controlling your sleep-wake timing. And if you understand it, you can sleep less and wake up fresher than people who sleep more. The two systems that control your energy. Your body uses two forces. One, sleep pressure, adenosine. It builds all day, more waking, more adenosine. When it's high enough, your brain forces sleep. Caffeine blocks it. That's why caffeine feels like cheating, but crashes feel like betrayal. Two, circadian rhythm. Your internal 24-hour clock. It controls hunger, mood, focus, hormones, and sleep. Your body loves consistency. Stable rhythm, less sleep needed. Chaotic rhythm exhaustion even with more hours. Modern adults? Our rhythms are cooked. Random sleep times, endless screens, zero sunlight, maximum chaos. How to sleep less and wake up fresh. You don't need generic advice. You need biological rules, systems, habits that work even when life is messy. Rule number one, fix your wake up time, not your sleep time, your wake time. This is the cheat code. Wake up at the same time every day, even if you slept late, even if you feel dead inside. This anchors your entire circadian rhythm. Same wake up time, synced hormones, faster sleep onset, deeper cycles, predictable rhythms. After seven, 10 days, your body auto corrects. Like training a dog, consistency beats intensity. Your body starts obeying. Rule number two, Get morning sunlight, just five minutes. Sunlight hits your eyes, your brain releases cortisol, the healthy kind. This signals, day has started. Then 14, 16 hours later, melatonin automatically rises. You literally schedule your sleep in the morning. No sunlight delayed melatonin, late sleep chaos. Cloudy day, works. Balcony, works. Just let your eyes touch daylight. Rule number three, follow the 90 minute formula. Sleep in cycles, not hours. Aim for cycle endings. 4.5 hours, 6 hours, 7.5 hours, or 9 hours. Hitting a cycle boundary gives you a clean wake up. 6 hours of high quality cycles feels fresher than 8 hours of broken chaos. Structure beats duration. Rule number 4. Avoid a stimulated brain at night. Your phone at night is dopamine warfare. Every scroll pumps many hits of stimulation. This does two things keeps cortisol high, and delays melatonin. Your brain screams, I am awake. Your body whispers, please bro, no. Reduce stimulation 30 minutes before bed. 
You don't need a digital detox. Just make your brain slightly bored. Rule number five, quality consistency. Less sleep required. The formula, consistent wake time. Morning sunlight, low night stimulation, deep, stable cycles. Deep cycles, less total sleep needed. More REM. Better emotional regulation. Sharper focus. Better mood. This is why some people thrive on six hours while others suffer on nine. It's not the number. It's the quality. Rule number six. Stop eating close to bedtime. Your body can't digest and repair at the same time. If you eat late, your sleep stays light. Your heart rate stays up. Your REM weakens. You need more hours to get the same recovery. Stop eating two, three hours before bed. Your sleep drops deeper and you need fewer total hours. Rule number seven. Clean your evening mindset. Most people go to bed with mental clutter, overthinking, stress, planning, regretting, random 2013 flashbacks. A busy brain cannot fall asleep deeply. Make a shutdown ritual. Write three wins, plan tomorrow in two minutes, stretch five minutes, listen to something calming or talk yourself down. Repeat daily. Your brain learns, oh, this routine sleep time. You fall asleep faster and need fewer hours. And the full blueprint. Wake up at the same time. Get morning sunlight. Use the 90-minute cycle formula. Wind down before bed. Stop eating late. Repeat for 10, 14 days. Track your freshness, not your sleep hours. Your sleep becomes predictable. Your energy stabilizes. Your mornings stop feeling like punishment. The mindset shift. You don't need more sleep. You need better sleep. Your body isn't lazy or broken. It's rhythm dependent. Give it routine and it will reward you with clarity, calmness, sharpness, and mornings that feel like fresh starts. Sleep isn't about escaping the day. It's about preparing for the next one. And when you master your rhythm, you don't just wake up fresh. You wake up powerful.